So I replaced my 6821 and my 6822 uh, PIA, and the other one's a, uh, I guess, IA, IIA, right? With a modern, still made PIA that is a drop in replacement for the 6821 made by uh, Western Design. And so I'll be testing, uh, I guess, the audio, um, I'll be testing keyboard input and a couple other things but uh, you know in this video I'm just gonna play a game uh, so you can see that that works and so right now I have Slay the Norris in there okay and it's hooked up to uh, my composite input on there okay so it turns on that's a good sign and okay that's input from the keyboard skill level will be just enter zero and you can see I can it works there's audio and it takes keyboard inputs all that stuff so if I switch over That is a dirty screen. I need to clean that. Uh, we can see the schematic I have here. The 6821 uh, is part of the larger successive approximation DAC. Okay, and it is what produces sound. Okay, uh, a couple other signals coming out here. Uh, cassette data out, you know, to record, right? And it does serial data. Uh, I haven't tested these, but I will be testing this you know, later on. Um, and the 6822 that's replaced by the 6821 replacement does keyboard input, and you know we saw that works, right? So yeah, so I'm excited. This is this is this is good. Well, maybe if I do one more test, I just took the cassette. I'm sorry, I just took the tape out. The tape. I mean the cartridge. And let's get this screen here. And just do keyboard test. And yay, it works. So yeah, so that's good news. We have, you know, potential, you know, still made chips to replace uh, the PIA and the IIA.